Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving in for the very last time into Super Mario Odyssey. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today we are gonna be diving in for what I believe is going to be the very last time into this series that we've been doing uh, with Super Mario Odyssey. We are going to be crashing a wedding today as we did Bowser's Kingdom last time and Bowser got away. We fought a dragon in the Ruined Kingdom and then we finally fought the Brutals at Bowser's Kingdom, uh, which was very interesting. It was like this uh, kind of like samurai, kind of vibe of uh, Bowser's Castle, which I thought was a little different. I don't think that's been done in the Mario game before. Um, but anyway, we Bowser escaped, and now Mario and Cappy are all dapper and dressed up and ready to go crash this wedding. Uh, and we're gonna be heading to the moon, and uh, we're gonna be at the moon kingdom. Now, I don't know where we left off. I don't know if we are actually going to be doing a ton of exploration at the moon kingdom, or if we're just running up to the wedding chapel and then doing a boss fight. So I have no idea how long this episode is gonna be. I have heard rumors, and I have heard tell, that there might be more to this game uh, than, than just this. Um, we, there might be a whole other world after. I'm not sure if that means we're just going back and playing, you know, like, oh, hey, we're back in the like open world and we can go to visit kingdoms and do whatever, or if there's actually going to be a whole other kingdom after this. I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect. But either way, uh, this might be a shorter episode. This might even just be a longer episode, but I think more than likely this is gonna be our final Super Mario Odyssey episode. And I'm really excited to get into this with you guys today and see how this is gonna finish. It's been such a great, great game. And I will say, uh, also, make sure to stay tuned to the end because if we do finish this game today, uh, as we do normally at the end of each series, I will give you my knee-jerk reaction, my review at the very end of what I thought about Super Mario Odyssey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I mean, there's not really any ugly in this game. Uh, it's honestly, there's really not much bad in this game either. It's just a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, I'm getting excited about doing this with you guys today. Uh, if you are excited about this series, if you've had fun with Mario and you're down with what we're doing here, make sure to click like on this video and let me know down in the comments uh, your thoughts on this video. Also, just this playthrough of Mario that we've been doing. I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. That really helps the channel. And you can hang out with us over at Discord. The link for that is down below. Don't forget to dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You get early release content. All these videos go over there first. $10 a month, you get that plus exclusive content uh, for Patreon eyes only. But no matter what you sign up for, you can be a part of Wednesday nights and the weekly exclusive Patreon live stream, which is so much fun in the midweek as a community. Special thank you going out to our current list of patrons. I love you guys and I can't thank you enough for all of your support, your moral support, your financial support, your comments, your love. Uh, it's just such a wonderful place to be over there. If you're out there and you would like to join the community and be on this amazing list of names, and get shout outs in every single video, then make sure to go on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, let's bring this thing to an end. It's time to dive back into the world of Super Mario Odyssey. Well, okay, guys, it is time to dive back into the world of Super Mario Odyssey. You'll see I got my Mario shirt. I just got this uh, over vacation. This is actually the first time I've worn it. Uh, I wanted to wear it especially for our finale here uh, with Mario. And I've also, of course, am equipped with my Let's Play Easy Mode mug. We haven't talked about this in a while, but these are available. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen these, we have the Let's Play Easy Mode mug. Now, these are for sale at the merchandise store, uh, which you'll find a link for the swag store down at the bottom. And uh, I'll tell you what, today I'm just drinking a regular blend of coffee, just like a breakfast blend, but I'll tell you what, it makes your coffee taste great. These Let's Play Easy Mode mugs, they're 14 ounces. You can get them for $14. And uh, let's go ahead and mm, have a sip of coffee. Now, I will tell you, the last time we played this game, uh, I missed a whole portion of my playthrough. 
uh, because uh, my screen froze when I was recording. So I'm going to try to keep an eye on all of this while we do it, because I do absolutely do not want to miss anything if this is indeed our final Mario playthrough. Oh, look at him. He's looking so cute. Hey, look, there are coins to get here. Man, he's a good punter. Well, my screen looks like it's it's messing up. Let's see what we can do to fix it. All right. Guys, I'm actually starting to think that what I need is a new video capture card. I, I've had the same one pretty much since I, uh, right around the first, like, month or two of the channel when I, uh, when I got started, I didn't have a video capture card, and then I got, you know, whatever cheap one I could get on Amazon with the budget I had at the time, and, uh, I need a new one. I need a good one. I need a really good one, one that's not gonna die on me. Like I'm really afraid this one's gonna do. So I'm gonna try to give the game as much attention as I possibly can. I just wanna, I don't wanna miss anything. Oh, I love how high you can jump. So cool. Oh, we're really gonna jump high now. Oh, that's cool. Anything in these craters? Well, we're, it doesn't say that we need power moons, so I know we're not collecting that, but maybe there are cool things that we can collect. Look at all these moon rocks. All right, it looks like a, some sort of lunar octopus over there. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we want to go down here. Cool, cool. What? Guys, it's one of those boxes again. is what I get for playing the game without you guys in the comments. Well, not everybody on Patreon's been actually commenting on these. I know you guys have been watching them. I've been asking the question, does anybody know what, what to do with those boxes? That's cool. You can wall watch. Oh, I thought, okay, if you jumped again, you could keep scaling the wall. That's not good. Oh, man. All right, let's try again. We're just gonna go straight for it. We're gonna head right to the chapel here in a second. I can get up here. I think they moved. They do move. Okay. Can we kick a rock at him? Is that what we do? All right, 
right, there's gotta be a way. I guess it must be the rocks. Okay, we need more rocks. Can we get up there and get him? Well, we'll go this way instead. Ooh! How much you want to bet? Nope. We got a power moon. Okay, we'll take that. I was gonna say maybe that was uh, glowing because. Oh, we can go really high that way. Hi, bunny. Whoa, look at this. We gotta get over there. How we get over there? Oh, we just dived down. Okay. Let's go back. up the hill we're taking our time getting to this wedding but it's because there's still so much to see oh I see this probably leads right to it well actually all right Can he still jump really high? Yeah, look at that. Ah, look at that, that was awesome. Hey, we did it. We did it. Oh, I made it up here. And got some purple coins. Wait, is there something up there? Oh, that's just where we came out, okay. All right, let's go back. Come on, little Mario. You were dressed so cutely for this wedding. Let's go, um, let's go crash a wedding. And we'll see what fun prizes we get on the way. Ooh, I thought that was gonna be a close one. Can we make that? I'm not really sure we can. Maybe we gotta do it from here. Ooh. We did it! All right, there's only 50 of them in here. Normally, we've seen about a hundred. Okay. Well, something's going on over there. Let's check it out. Oh, we didn't make that. Oh, wait. Oh, I just did a dive I have never done before. 
Okay, I got an idea. Um, I wonder if we can do the hat jump. There we go. Power moon. So it didn't say that we required power moons in this level, but we are getting them. Oh. Oh no, no, no. My goodness. Do we need to do that again, or is it considered already done? Got some coins. There we go. Now we're gonna need this to work again. That's awesome. That is so much fun. All right, up we go. Another one of those cubes. What are we doing? Oh. No, that isn't what we do. How did I mess that up so bad? Uh, okay. Let's try again. Now, do we want to, does it matter? I guess to each his own. I just don't... So he needs something to propel him. Is it the flower? Is there a flower there? I don't know. Let's see. There's no flower available, right? I got an idea. That didn't work. You don't even really need the power moons in this level, so. I'm not gonna waste our time trying to get something so foolish. Uh, looks like I need to make a big jump, though. Nice. Heart. I wonder, 
Oh, I wonder if you can just hop on his head. There's a target there. That's how you get rid of him. Isn't that the same, now that I think about it, isn't that the same kind of creature we fought at Seaside? I think it is. Oh! Hello, Pharaoh. Or Sphinx, that's what it is. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? Should you really be answering questions right now? A bear of correct answers. There are so many other things you could be doing with your time. Do what you must, I am done. Well, I wonder if I unlocked anything. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Bowser's moon, and there's some coins. I jump. oh. I jumped over, but I could have used the bridge too. go we are we're ready quiet wall watch out the hole back there is real deep no kidding okay underground moon cavern The gravity feels normal in here. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Where to? Oh, down there. Okay. Uh Hopefully it comes back. 
It's going quite a ways. Oh, these are Hammer Brothers. Hmm. It just appears back again. I was taking a sip of coffee. Really sloppy, but we made it. Good lord. This is hard. Oh. The thing is, Mario's just so slow. That's what's hard about it. Oh, never mind. I keep forgetting you can do this. Guys, I apologize for my lack of memory. What am I doing? Oh. Forgot, these guys were like in the first... again oh because he's not gonna make it with the little statue guy so I've got to try to okay I need to go forward and like go try to line it up with the purple coins I think Oh. 
some reason I'm having a really hard time controlling. Oh, the whole thing disappears. I thought it was just that you could be that guy and see it. Oh, never mind, no. It's because you hit the button and it's, oh, okay. It's a timer, that's, that's so stupid. can't do it this oh this is just like the last time on the last level it's so hard oh this game like was so easy to get through you know what i don't care what you guys say hate me in the comments do whatever you want to do we're going back to assist mode and hope that that shows me the arrows on where i need to go it started the level over? No! No! You have got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You can't... You can't just turn it on and off in the middle of the game. And just stay where you are. Ooh, that's frustrating. <sighs> all right, come on. I gotta do all of that all over again. I'm gonna see, okay, I don't wanna do it all over again. I'm gonna see if I start the game over, if it will uh, just go back to my last game save. Oh man, I gotta do it all over again. Oh, it's fine, I'll just leave the assist mode. I know there are going to be some very hateful people with very hateful comments about this. Um. I'm, I will admit that that last time I played the game where I kept dying and dying and dying and dying uh, was frustrating enough that I, I really don't want to go through that again. One thing, there we go. Now guys, I apologize. I, I apologize that my attitude has soured a little bit and a lot of that is just that these kinds of platform games are very cute and they're fun uh, it's really well it's cute and it's well designed I'm just not good at these kinds of things and it starts to become very frustrating for me and there we go Oh, this is so much better. Oh gosh, this is great. 
Oh, he's... Didn't get out of the way. Leave me alone! It won't blow him up. It will not do it. There we go. I'm hoping that the arrows will guide me. Like across where that invisible part was. I still don't know what it is I was supposed to do here. Oh, you know what? I bet I'm supposed to be that thing. Now I'm trying to remember how he works. You stretch. That's right. Wait for the other guy to move. No! Oh, shoot. That's how you do it. Okay. So now we're back to where we were. Still pointing. I love that. Please keep pointing again once we get over here. It's not doing it. Probably would still be struggling with that right now if I hadn't done this. Oh, that guy's from Mario 3! And you can still be him? Alright, um. go that way. Uh, those are, don't seem worth it. Okay. No! <laughs> can't do it. Ah. Thank you. Oh, lovely... Lovely assist mode. I should have never turned you off in the first place. Okay. 
Okay. Oh no! Oh, that's a really big bunny. Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me in my Cascade Kingdom. Oh, that was a long time ago. In fact, we were quite rude to all my you were quite rude to all my darling brutals, which is why we're all here now. Oh, we didn't finish him off yet. Oh man. Now, I do believe it's lunchtime for my newly powered up chain uh chompkins. <laughs> Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Got it. Now what's she gonna do? Okay, up we go. Is there anything else I got here? All right, here we go. Screen isn't frozen, life is good. We made it. I'm on assist mode. There are people who hate me because I'm on assist mode, but I'm a happy camper and I'm enjoying Mario. Oh guys, we're almost there. Okay, guys, this is it. Quick, quick. We gotta get to the wedding. Oh, guys, here we are. We have been waiting for this. We're at the wedding hall. I wonder who's in attendance. <laughs> How are all these people that I've helped at this wedding? Classic Oregon Bowser music. 
We didn't make it, guys. Oh, good. There we are. We have a boss fight with Bowser. I thought he was going to send us to another kingdom. That's a big wedding ring. Crashing the wedding, Mario. That's tacky even for you. Also, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough for the occasion. Not that it matters since you weren't invited. So now it's time for you to make like a bouquet and get thrown out. Get ready, Mario. He's got, is that, his hat has a pair, he's got a pair of boxes in his top hat. Here's your hat. Uh, okay. Got it. Oh, I remember this. There we go. It's like Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, he has it twice. Where's the heart? I just got it disappeared. I'm inevitably going to die. Okay, three times a charm, maybe? There's gotta be a heart somewhere. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Okay. Can I just skip this part? Can we talk about the fact that I helped all these people? Look! Oh, I was forced to attend this ceremony. I was dragged away from my cooking for the... Okay, okay, I feel better now. They were forced here. Jump. 
jump. Jump. Now he's gonna throw the hat. Got that one back. Take it. Fire ring. Fire ring. Fire ring. Jump. Jump. That was a good one. Now he's gonna do the flaming thing. Jump! Oh, shoot! Alright, now what's he gonna throw? How many hats we got this time? Run, run, run! Oh, heart? Okay, we may have this now. Ring. Ring. Ring of fire. Jump, jump, jump. Almost had it. Jump. Jump, jump, okay. Jump. Oh, guys. Oh, it magically disappeared just by beating him. Yes! Quick! Uh oh. Uh, are we finally gonna find out what those blocks are? Oh no, the boss fight's about to get bigger. Whoa, that's not good. Turns out if you didn't destroy them along the way, you get the bad ending. <laughs> okay. Hey, I still got my assist mode on. Are those two all right? What are we going to do? No way. Did he just like go through? <gasps> Guys, did Mario just see like a flashback to like the whole timeline of Mario? Cause I heard the music like the from the original game. Yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, um, oh wow. Oh, jump. I'm so glad that SS mode's on right now. I need this so bad. I know some people are like, no fair, he's cheating. I just, I need this. Sweet.
No way! Okay, this is awesome. That... That was amazing, though. Being Bowser in 8-bit Nintendo. Okay, we're going. I just realized this music playing is going to give me this gigantic, like, copyright strike. This way? This way. Dang it, I'm gonna get copyright and uh, a copyright thing for this. All right. and him are going to come to blows after that. She floats down, classic Peach.
Peaches, 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 peaches. What? And there it is! Oh, man! Alright! That was interesting. So... That was a lot of fun being able to take over Bowser with the hat and then run through and, and break stuff with Bowser. Um, the ending was interesting, wasn't it? A little bit, like, they're both fighting over her, and there was a moment there, it got weird, because she's just kind of looking at both of them, and then she walks away, like, you would think by then it just would have been like, you know, Mario defeats Bowser, and she's like, get me away from this thing, you know, but then she's like, come on, let's go, you know, and so... Her and Mar I guess her and Mario left and left Bowser on the moon. I like this little like, it's almost like a comic strip looking kind of presentation. So I will tell you what guys, I'll give you my final review here um, at the end. I, I, I don't know if there's anything after the credits. Um, that was actually my favorite level was Metro. Metro Kingdom was my favorite. That was really cool. Actually, as of recording this right now, I have not done the birthday live stream yet. Uh, I am recording this on a Thursday, and uh, the, so, so the birthday live stream is on a Monday, so it's in four days. And uh, I would have already finished this game by then. I'm hoping I am able to go back in and do some exploring with you guys. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun on the birthday live stream. I'd like to go back and maybe you guys can show me some of the secrets that I missed. Like, what was the deal with all those big giant blocks, those cubes? I never really saw what that was all about. Oops, hit my microphone. Um, I will say the gameplay in this was a lot of fun, though. I, and here's the thing. I, I want to apologize to you guys. I hope you, you will... Uh, sincerely take my apology and uh, accept it uh, for the amount of times I got really frustrated with the game uh, it wasn't because I thought it was bad it's that I get frustrated with my own limitations and so I know for so many people who are just so much better at video games than I am that they were able to probably navigate through that and have so much fun with it sometimes I just you know what it is? I, ever since I was a kid, I don't know, I, it's not something I've been blessed with a ton of patience with as far as, hey, there's the Mario 64 castle. Um, thanks for playing. That's another Mario thing. Thank you thing. so much for playing my game. I've had that before in other games with Mario. Thanks for playing. What's this? I don't get that. Somebody explain to me in the comments what that was all about with the frogs. You can now travel to, oh, the Mushroom Kingdom. What? Uh, additional power moons are in stock at the shop. Music list has been added to the map screen. Oh, wow. Funny. 
Oh, that's cool. So calm, so peaceful, like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But good thing it wasn't, because we saved our two dear friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us. But I've liked our travel so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do. So many hats you need to meet. And I bet if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's castle. Awesome. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, for the sake of time, I'm going to save the game. Well, I don't know. Is this... I was going to say, let me save it for another time, but I was going to make this our final episode. <gasps> There's Luigi! He's finally... Hey, bro, you say Princess Peach, huh? So proud of you. Yeah. But enough of that. Get this, bro. I came up with a new game. I call it Balloon oh. World. Balloon World is a game where you search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Oh, you should know that if you play, your high score, nickname, and profile icon will show up in other people's oh. games. You want to connect to the network and play Balloon World? Sure. We're connecting to the network. Whoa! Just so you know, assist mode won't be active while playing Balloon World. That's fine. All right, let's begin. First, we'll move to the starting point. You play Balloon World by hiding and seeking balloons. <gasps> Yoshi egg! First, I'll show you. Find it. Try to find the balloon I hide. You'll have 30 seconds to find the balloon and pop it. Once you leave the starting area, find uh, find it will begin. Oh, I was trying to pop that balloon. Uh, I don't see the balloon. It's not the one he's got on him, right? Okay. So. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, I know. Okay. The arrow's pointing me in the direction. Okay. Oh. I see. Gotcha. That was probably just to show me what to do. Nice work, bro. Here, take these 50 coins. Once you get a time bonus, too, that's an extra 55. So, this time I hid the balloon, but in the real thing, uh, players from all over the world will hide balloons. Oh, also, when you're playing, find it uh, for real. I'll need a few coins from you. Oh, and did you notice for each three coins you collect, you get one second uh, added to the time limit. Oh. It works that way in both. Find it and hide it. So it's always good to remember. Okay, oh. let's try hide it. You'll be the one to hide the balloon and hide it, and players all over the world will look for it. You get coins until someone finally finds and pops the balloon. Ah. Neat, right? The time limit is 30 seconds. Good luck. Oh. How long you take to hide your balloon will affect how long people have to look for it. You can take your time and hide it far away or quickly hide it nearby. Once you leave the starting area, okay. Hide. Yes. You picked a really good hiding spot. I 
hope you like Balloon World, bro. I think it's a blast either way you play it. And maybe you'll earn yourself a ton of coins if you get really good and find it. Okay. Okay, want to play Find It and try to find everyone's balloon? Yeah, I'll play real quick. Now we're talking. All right, let's play Find It. Who are... Okay. Look at that. I like Yoshi, so let's play this person's. Maybe they did the same thing I did. Boy, that's not easy. Okay. That's fun. Kinda. No. I quit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Seems like this is a really hard you only get a little bit of time. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh I I just wanna quit. And be done oh. with this. Ho, ho. Thanks, Luigi. Would have loved your help throughout this whole thing. Oh. Oh. I bet there's neat stuff buried around here. I bring my dog here so he can run. What a wonderful vehicle. Hey, what can I buy? Hiya. We have a Mario 64 and oh, that's fun. I don't get the deal with the stickers and all that unless they go on the Odyssey. Anything new here? Oh, we got football, classic cap and a classic suit, okay. Oh my costs a lot of money for that musician hat well that seems like I'm the right person for that sunshine shades whoa there's so many outfits for him okay cool cool all right um what else can Mario do around here? Huh. The balloon you hit in mushroom got popped. Hey, I wonder if this is anything like when I go up here. Hang on, there's so much to explore, and I know that. I know there's uh, probably a, a whole level here. Why does that have a Bowser thing? Um, I was just seeing how close this is to the actual 64. It's a little different. Awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? Oh, my goodness. Well. Um, I think... I've gotten the basic lay of the land here as far as that there are some bonus things, post-story things uh, to do. And here's what I'm going to do. Um, for those of you who are watching this, by the time you see this uh, finale to the series, 
you are probably going to have already either seen or maybe you haven't seen it yet, the birthday live stream. Uh, I think what I'm going to do for the birthday live stream is uh, is do some like post level exploring, do some traveling in the Odyssey and things like that. Um, I might work to do that a little bit. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen it uh, yet, uh, then I would say look for the birthday live stream video and uh, there will be a section in there where we will be playing some Mario together on live stream and that might be a good time to do some exploration um, and, and things like that. Uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here, and I apologize for those of you who are looking for me to play this. Uh, I think I'm going to save this for the live stream type thing, and if we don't do it then, then maybe we'll do a bonus episode or something, but uh, I think it's time to talk about this game. Well, okay, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode, and realistically, that is going to be the end of our series with Super Mario Odyssey. We did it. We stopped Bowser from his wedding with Peach, his forced wedding, uh, even though I, I do think it seemed a little funny there at the very end where they're both still trying to give their wedding plea to her and she kind of walks off on both of them i kind of figured she'd just be like i'm done with you bowser and grab mario's arm and and head out uh but in the end she still invited mario to come home with her uh so you know we uh we ended it there the credits were rolling and and uh and that is going to be the end as far as this main campaign goes um you know as i started getting into it i realized we're not going to finish this series today if I continue going. And I know for some of you guys, that's that's fine. I actually want to save the bonus stuff. I want to save the the end of the game levels. Uh, and maybe that's something we can try to do on live stream. You know, either that or uh, maybe if not there, then we'll do it in like a future bonus episode, which I think would be really cool. Um, but that is going to conclude our playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey. Um, Hmm. Graphics were great. Honestly, some of the best graphics I've ever seen in a Mario game. Now, granted, I mean, we're not. This isn't exactly Horizon Forbidden West, but it's not meant to be. Um, but it was smooth. It was fun. Uh, I, as far as platforming, game mechanics in this game, I will tell you that. Um, I'm gonna let's forget that I got frustrated with this game because that was not to do with the game as much as it was to do with my inability to do hard things in the video game. Uh, but the game mechanics were excellent, and I would I would say that I think this game was an absolute masterclass. I've mentioned it before. I think this is a masterclass in platforming. Um, there were, I know there were a lot of game mechanics that I did not take advantage of. I, I think I did the hat jump thing like once. Uh, a lot of you guys were saying, hey, try some of the other maneuvers and things like that, which I never really did. Um, I, I admit, so, sometimes I just don't order off the whole menu when it comes to the games. Uh, sometimes I find something I like. I get a lot of criticism for that on our Halo playthrough. There are people who are like, use all the guns. And I'm like, I found a gun I like. Use all the guns, but I like this one. You know, like that's that's me. I just, I, I get it and I get very tunnel visioned in the game. And sometimes I just kind of go through. Uh, I feel like we did do some exploration in this and there seems to be a lot more exploration to do. Uh, almost seems like now, now there's like a post like ending game uh, there's like an ending game story just to go find Peach. Who knows, maybe we're just gonna find her and it turns out that she's like gonna help us start playing another mini game, you know? It sounds like now we have the ability to play these online mini games and things like that. Sounds like it might turn into Mario Party. One thing I'm hoping is to actually see Yoshi at some point. I see the eggs, we saw Luigi, we've seen Toad, and obviously Peach, but where's Yoshi in all of this? I'd love to see Yoshi. Um, Story-wise, what do you want? It was, there's your princess is in another castle. I mean, it was vintage Mario, Bowser gets Peach. Very similar uh, to the movie, actually, as far as him wanting to do a wedding, um, you know, falling in love with Peach, and, and you know, uh, Mario has to stop the wedding. They were even wearing some of the same clothes um, from the movie. Uh, and it's funny, because I know the movie came out, maybe the movie was kind of loosely based on this game a little bit. Uh, and, and maybe Metro 
you know, some of the battles that we saw in the movie with Mario and Luigi against Bowser, um, you know, maybe those were kind of influenced by Metro Kingdom, you know. Uh, that was my favorite level. Metro Kingdom was my favorite. Um, I think my least favorite level was still the Luncheon Kingdom. All in all, though, I think it's, like I said, it's a masterclass in platforming. Graphics are vintage, uh, just good classic cartoony Nintendo graphics, which are cute. Um, the game mechanics were phenomenal in this, and there's a lot that I haven't tried, and I will try them. Uh, maybe, like I said, maybe in a future bonus episode or the live stream or whatever. Um, story was your vintage Mario gets the princess back from Bowser story, and there's it's not broken. Right, I mean that's that it, it, it it's uh, it, it's something that you just come to expect and you just don't mind, you know. Um, IGN, sorry, I'm I'm drifting here, thinking about what I'm gonna rate the game. Um, for me, my knee jerk reaction is that the game is actually like a ten. IGN gave it a ten, and I understand. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Mario games. Um, obviously, the classic is great. And that, oh, that was something that really stood out to me and that I loved as an old time gamer. The very first video game I ever owned was when I got my Nintendo when I was 11 and we got Super Mario Brothers and the Duck Hunt combo. And so Super Mario Brothers for like a year was the only game I owned and I loved it. And so the way that they brought that back into this in a way I haven't seen them do before, that was phenomenal. That might be one of my favorite things in this game was actually the back and forth. Um, I really enjoyed that. And I, I mentioned this on a previous episode. I think that that gave me an appetite for another 8-bit Mario game. The same way they did with Sonic, how they took the 16-bit graphics and made like a Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Um, I would love to see them somehow go back and just for fun, like that would be such a fun handheld game on the Switch if they made another 8-bit, you know, maybe do some 3D uh, cutscenes to explain why it's that way, but it would be so fun to play another new Mario game like that. Um, you know, with new levels, new 2D, side-scrolling platform levels. That could be fun. I, I would really enjoy that a lot. There, I know there's so much they could do with modern tech, and, and that would be so cool. Uh, all in all, guys, I'm going to give uh, Super Mario Odyssey a 10. Um, I think it's, like I said, it's master class in platforming, and uh, my issues with it weren't really to do with the game. They were to do with me. And uh, I actually did very much enjoy the fact that it had an assist mode. I know a lot of people were had to have been eye rolling in this episode when I turned on assist mode because so many of you were like, please, by the second episode, you're like, please turn assist mode off. And that was fine until I, I think I finally just got frustrated enough and I'm like, I want to finish this game well. I don't want to get mad at it. So it was easier, it was better to just keep a positive attitude and turn on assist mode instead uh, and just make it a little easier so it's more fun. Um, and so I did that. Um, so I was really thankful that that was offered in the game. All in all, I really enjoyed it. And I would be curious what you guys think. Give me your final thoughts on Super Mario Odyssey. And um, do you, would you like to see them make more games? I know there's some new Mario games coming out. Um, they have a, a couple new Mario games coming out, I think, this fall. Uh, and maybe next year. I know they're going to be doing also a remaster, I believe, or a complete remake of Super Mario RPG. Would you like to see them do another game kind of like Mario Odyssey in the same spirit of Mario 64? that 3D platform style. If that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious what your thoughts are uh, as far as how this ranks with other Mario games. Uh, I don't really have a ranking system for this yet, but I will say that it's definitely one of my favorites that I've tried so far. Uh, I've really, really very much enjoyed it. Uh, and so yeah, let me know down in the comments. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click like on it. Make sure to subscribe for more content. Come on in, join the community. It's really nice here. And of course, you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the Patreon page uh, by going to this link right here. As a matter of fact, if you sign up for $10 a month, you can do the five for early release. But if you do $10 a month, uh, you'll actually see a blind playthrough where I played Super Mario 
Mario World on the Super Nintendo. I had always played it the first few levels as a kid, but I never had a chance to beat the game, and I did. I beat Super Mario World on Patreon. So if you'd like to see that playthrough, uh, that was a lot of fun for me, uh, and it definitely checked off a video game bucket list item, uh, being able to finally beat that game. So I would encourage you guys to go ahead and check that out. Guys, thank you so much for watching this series. I really appreciate you guys. As you know, I'm currently moving uh, as of the recording of this video, and uh, it's currently August, uh, and I'm gonna be uh, tearing all this stuff down. Uh, so I am going to be doing uh, some other Nintendo things coming up in September. Uh, when we get into the new Easy Mode Studio, the new Easy Mode Room, uh, we are going to be on Nintendo Switch. We are going to be starting our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And I'm really excited to continue on in the Nintendo world with you guys. Uh, so that's going to be our next Nintendo Switch game. You can expect that coming up in September uh, when we really kick things off and we're back in just normal life every day, back in full swing on easy mode. And, uh, and then once we're done with Skyward Sword, I think that's going to take us for a little while. Guys, it's still looming there in the background. I can't wait to finally take on Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and get back into that Breath of the Wild mode that we were in a while back. I oh, can't wait to revisit that too. Uh, but that's still a little ways off. We've got Skyward Sword coming up next, uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Also, uh, one of the things I'm gonna be doing, because it's been requested several times, I think I'm gonna actually make it like a poetic ending to my time here in the Easy Mode Studio room here as far as this chapter of the channel goes. Um, there was no other game that launched this channel during this era of it like Breath of the Wild. And uh, so many of you guys have requested that I do a reaction video watching my very first video on that Breath of the Wild series just to see the, some of the mistakes I was making, things, uh, noob things, rookie mistakes, you know, and react to that video, uh, which I am going to be doing. And I actually think that's probably gonna be my last video uh, when we do it, it will be the one I end with uh, here for this era of this room. So uh, just to kind of go out the way we, we we really kicked it into gear here. So anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the things happening with Let's Play Easy Mode. Coming up in September, again, we're going to be back in the full swing of things. And I just can't wait to get back to normal life with you guys. And we have so many more games to play on this journey that I started a year and a half ago to just catch up on all these video game titles I've never played before. Uh, so thank you guys so much for making this such a wonderful time for me. I hope it's been a wonderful time for you. It is always a joy for me to spend time with you, my friends. And I can't wait to spend more time with you later. Uh, I will talk to you soon. But until then, take it easy.